uh, Rebecca to kick us off. Great. Hi, everybody. Uh, just a quick tech check. You all can hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I am going to share my screen, I think. Yep. Which means I have a harder time seeing the chat box, so someone will tell me. And welcome to this open formal leaders meeting today. I'm very excited to be here with you all planning a way here. Uh, we're together today to deepen our understanding of all the elements of the fabulous new open blueprint. And, and I say that it's new, but it's also iterative. It's building on all of our work together over all of these years. Uh, and to build alignment and ownership on the role of the formal leaders, that's us, in the implementation phase next year. So um, yay, let's celebrate. We have a plan to change how oral health is perceived throughout the country and how oral services are financed, delivered, and made accessible to all. Uh, can I get a woot? Yay. Oh, woo. Excellent. So our desired outcomes today are to have a deepened understanding of the final version of the blueprint, including our collective aspirations for impact, a shared understanding of the challenges in implementation and the role of formal leaders in each strategic lever area, an awareness of the network's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We'll talk about the quick SWOT analysis my, the working group I'm chairing and facilitating did, uh, and the process and the outcomes, and we'll get to keep building on that. We'll uh, gain, I hope, a shared understanding understanding of the un ongoing alignment and consensus building process embedded in all networks, including ours, and a shared understanding of the next steps in the last six weeks of this year prior to the launching of the 2023 implementation phase. I don't know about you all, but I had to do a quick double check last weekend to make sure that there was another weekend in between then and Thanksgiving. I'm finding the accordion of time compressed right now. So, um, so looking forward to sprinting to the end of the year together with you all. Um, Rebecca, just to pause you, you have a, a message that you're currently signed in um, showing and then the slides are um, in the, like we, we, we see your screen and not, not the presenter view. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I need to go and do a slideshow. Mm -hmm. Um, Sorry, guys. If you go to view um, and then slideshow mm -hmm. at the top. Right at the top. There. Thank you. Oh, that's better. <laughs> better for all of us. Thank you. So, um, so briefly, we like to present these group norms at the beginning of every meeting. As network leaders, we are all familiar with them, but I'll just pause for a minute, half a minute. And we uh, developed this really great uh, Jedi statement uh, uh, to reframe and repeat and remind ourselves all the time about our commitment uh, individually and as a network to justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. And I just, I'll leave this up for a few minutes, a few seconds also, but um, to just reaffirm that we believe that Jedi and the process of justice, diversity, equity, and inclusion is a process process that requires all of our continual reflection and commitment and that it's understood through aligned action at both the micro and macro levels. So now it's time to align ourselves around needed actions. Uh, we're asking you today to commit to your role as a formal leader in the implementation and to help us plan to get there. 
Uh, and what's being presented today is the blueprint in its final form. So we're really happy, Jessica, we'll share that in a few minutes. So it will be lovely to see together. Uh, right now, Jessica. Good afternoon, everyone. So at this time, we're going to share with you the Open Blueprint for Change in its final form. And as a reminder, the purpose is for a shared understanding of collective um, purpose, commitments, and structural flow among all network members and teams to carry out the work of the Open Blueprints. You have all yep. You have all seen the final version sent to you as a pre-read. Let's take a few minutes and reflect on what inspires you most about the blueprint and what is your aspiration for impact in the coming years. Raise your hand to speak um, or you can put your reflections in the chat. So I'm just gonna pause here and give everybody a time to share. And if anyone wants to unmute themselves and share their reflections on the blueprint, that would be great. Thank you, Jessica. This is Beatrice, Beatrice Aberman. And first of all, uh, thank you for sharing uh, not only the future plan, but the history behind it and uh, how we arrived to this point. I feel that, um, it really, uh, you know, informed me very well as to what the plan, at least for next year, will be. I know it is a, a complex process, and I, I, I just feel that, you know, having share with you the space uh, talking about the level lead or bringing care to the people that is i think what I, what i am more excited about i think that at this time when our country is going through such a um, you know divisive uh, atmosphere to have an organization that focus on the positive and how to serve every person in our in our country that is extremely exciting and i know that the work is, is specific and i i'm sure that working together we're gonna uh, find point even more uh, exactly what we need to do together in the coming year thank you thank you beatrice in the chat i'm seeing that others are excited to see the network working um Sorry, my screen is scrolling so fast. Working to in alignment around ambitious goals, open members inspire me both. So many aspirations for this upcoming year. Excited to see integration and bringing care to where people are as priorities. So you can keep sharing your reflections of the blueprint lever as we move on, um, as we want to see what everyone thinks as they've reviewed these documents that have been sent out. And another is love focus on people. So let's kind of look at our journey. In the pre-reads, everyone should have received the document building a national network. In this document, we are reminded that in the United States, people are more likely to have poor oral health if they are low income, uninsured, members of racial or ethnic minority, or immigrants, or live in rural areas. Poor oral health sadly serves as a national symbol of social inequity. In 2020, network members began to identify new goals and strategies by mapping the oral health system and identifying levers in the system where members could apply pressure for optimal change. Today, 
the open blueprint for structural improvement and network approach to rebuilding the national oral health system is open's new strategic plan with goals and actions to implement from now until 2028. Today in 2022, we are designing a shared measurement system for that plan for rollout in 2023. In 2021, we developed the strategic interventions, amplifying consumer voices, advance oral health policy, integrate dental and medical, bring care to the people, and emphasize emphasizing prevention. 2022, we created the initial goals and actions for each of these blueprint levers. You might remember seeing these handouts at mid-year. And our present. In your pre-reads, everyone should have received a copy of the mapping process that resulted in a framework of a collection act, collective action, the open blueprint for change, a network approach to rebuild the national oral health system, which will produce an equitable and sustainable future for all. And if you have your copy, make sure you have it handy as we're gonna need it moving forward. Also in our present is the creating of the blueprint open members identified five strategic areas of leverage with goals and actions that will move the oral health system to be more just and equitable, person-centered, data-driven, value-based, and effective at improving the quality of life for all. Opens Impact Now elevates oral health as a social justice issue born from inequity, creating a model for lasting networks that can mobilize practitioners, advocates, and policymakers to create sustained community-centered changes. Connections of a diverse set of partners in all 50 states at the local, state, and national levels. Building a national community OPEN has advanced policy changes through congressional engagement efforts and generates broad public awareness and support, advocates for oral health care to be part of the Medicaid and Medicare, and encourages a range of diverse stakeholders across issue areas to address the intersecting social determinants of health and well-being. That is a lot. Just let that sink in for a moment of how much OPEN has already impacted. So let's look at OPEN's impact going forward. This is our vision, and now we have a collective action plan. The oral health system is transformed. There is oral health coverage for all. Oral health is widely accepted as an integral part of overall health. A preventive approach and effective non-invasive care are the norm of care teams and clinical practices and community members access timely, affordable, and quality care in non-traditional and trusted settings. If everyone remembers, we are a network full of hubs and spokes, and this is our existing leadership and with hubs. This is how the blueprint is currently supported by the network structure. We have our National Oral Health Connection team, which provides network governance and advocacy, or excuse me, ad, advisory board. Our regional oral health connection team made up of local, state, and regional connection and alignment teams. Our network response teams, which are topical and issue-based teams. Blueprint lever teams, which have been our collective impact strategy teams. All of these progress their report back to members to inform and advance our collective goals in the Oakland Blueprint. And now we have a slight shift in our structure. We are recommending that our hubs move forward by functional area. The first of these 
is partnership and fund development. This group will identify and secure funding sources and expert consultants to support states and communities to integrate their goals with the blueprint goals to further accelerate collective impact within each state and across the country. Equity and accountability. This group will work to design and launch an open learning collaborative to promote the skills and tools of collaboration and network building that ensures state level planning and solution generation. Next, we have communication and engagement. This group is going to work to engage a model that brings strategic partners to the table, design and facilitate an alignment building process to establish mutual goals, implement an outreach plan to ensure community involvement. The data platform hub will incorporate inputs, various training modules, program and service categories, payment and provider organizations, and national and state policies into the platform. The delivery models hub will work to identify and engage work for, workforce groups implicated in change making to create a shared understanding of new models of prevention and delivery that will expand access, including a cost benefit analysis and incentivizes ongoing participation and continuing education. And our last hub is policy and advocacy. This group will work to align and support open members nationally to implement OPEN's policy and agenda and develop state-specific advocacy strategies that are tailored to the population and their local context. And in case anyone needs it, Francis has popped for us the link to the Blueprint Implementation Plan into the chat so everybody can access that. In a few moments, we are going to be whisked away into small groups set up by functional area. Within these groups, we want everyone to share how you believe the functional area will impact the blueprint success and oral health and overall health. List challenges that you anticipate in moving action forward for this functional area. And what role do you see the formal leaders playing to implement this functional area's action steps? Again, the link to the blueprint is in the chat and you guys will wanna have that handy as we move into our small groups. Before we head there, I wanna give quick instructions for the Jamboards that are gonna be used in our small group discussions. Jamboards are a virtual substitute for sticky note brainstorms and round table discussions. Everybody can add and edit stickies and move them around and share ideas in real time. So to add a sticky note, click on the icon over here by number one, and then you'll have a sticky note pop up. You can type your notes in and press save with example two. And then because we're gonna have multiple uh, frames for us to look at, you can move from screen to screen, clicking on the arrows, arrows next to number three. We are going to have about 25 minutes in our small groups. Um, and during that time, we will have the three questions available for the groups to look at of remembering, we wanna know what you think the functional area will impact blueprint success and oral health and overall health listing the changes, excuse me, challenges that you anticipate and moving action forward for the functional area, and what role you see the formal leaders playing to implement the functional area in which you are at. Once the 25 minutes is up, we will come back to the large group and we'll have a debrief and we'd love to hear from each of the groups. Um, we'll get information back. So at this time, I'm gonna ask that we are sent to our small groups. I, I have a question. 
Yes, Jen. Can you, put, can you put the slide up with the new, not the old hub and spoke, but those circles? Can you, just for a second, I'll take a picture of it. And then. How's that for you? No, no, not the question. Oh, well, oh, yeah, I could use that one. Okay. Um, 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 um. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Um, so we have uh, Bianca working on our breakouts. Um, so we will have you all randomly assigned. If you just... So we're, we're being randomly assigned, not by, okay. I was gonna say not by where we would, we feel like we have the most. I know. Impact. Yeah, for today, it's gonna be random. Mm -hmm. And we want to just start having everybody look at these different hubs and to look at and to provide feedback. Um, and just to start thinking about how as a formal leader, you could be involved moving forward. Okay, thank you. 